Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at the difference between using Sidecar and the Logic Remote app. Both of these I'm going to be using with an iPad and we're going to be controlling Logic and I think it's really going to come down to personal preference to a certain extent, but there are a couple of really key differences and in some cases I prefer the Remote app and in some cases I've been using Sidecar now. So we're going to look at what the key differences are. We're going to look at how to turn on Sidecar. And we're going to look at how both of these function using Logic. Okay, to set up Sidecar, it's super easy. As long as you're uh, either connected via cable or on the same network, you can actually come through and it'll show up in your AirPlay menu. We're going to click on iPad here. ends of your screen. Just making sure that it's still continued recording. And now I've got my screen going and it's on my iPad. Now I can do a couple things here. I can mirror the built-in display. I can mirror the sidecar display. And this is in terms of the resolution. And then I could use as a separate display. So that extends the desktop. This is great for things like Final Cut or for using the iPad right next to your laptop and you want to just extend logic out onto it so you could do that for instance if you're mixing a movie you could have all of logic on the main screen and then the movie file playing out on the second screen you have a lot of options with this we can also change a few things out in the preferences so on the actual ipad you can have the sidebar on the left or right and then the touch bar which mimics the touch bar of our laptop on the top or the bottom and then we can use a double tap with the Apple Pencil and then we can disconnect okay so that's really it for this there's not a lot of settings the one thing you want to make sure is that especially if you're running one of the earlier models approved for sidecar of the iPad that you don't have a lot of apps running and you've uh, minimized how much is open at the same time that doesn't really in theory affect what iOS is doing but um, in practice I've really noticed that sometimes there can be more lag and I just close everything down restart at once and then it seems to work a lot better so there are times when some lag and things can affect what you're doing but you just want to make sure that you're paying attention to how it's running and then trying some options if, if you feel like that'll help okay so setting up, you can see is super easy. If you are running right next to your computer, I highly recommend plugging it in so that that connection's over the cable instead of over Wi-Fi. So here inside Car, let's talk about one of the biggest drawbacks to using Logic, and that is you have to have the pencil. You can't just use your finger in any case, except for scrolling. So you have to use a two finger move for scrolling. Otherwise, you always have to have the pencil. So one of the things that I wish I could do, for instance, would be come in and actually open up one of our effects and then use my fingers on the, the EQ. But no, I still have to use the pencil in all of those moves like that. So that, I find, is a huge limitation of Sidecar. I wish that we could just use our fingers on things like that instead of having to use the pencil every time. One of the huge benefits, though, of using Sidecar is that we have this view in Logic at all. With the remote app, we don't actually get that. We just get, for instance, the mixer, um, so we can actually look at things like that, but we don't get all the regions and the editing. We can't come in and actually do things like edit automation or things like that. Even with this though, so say I wanna do some automation editing, I'm gonna click on my keyboard here, because normally, we go into A like that just by typing a keyboard in front of us. So sometimes having to pull up the keyboard is an extra step. Sometimes the, the shortcuts here with our the modifier keys, that can be a real pain. Some of them work great. Some of them don't seem to work all that great. We have to turn on and off the keyboard. But once we get into this mode, of course, using the pencil like this is really, really powerful because we can draw in things like we've never been able to do before. So that, by far, is one of the biggest strengths of using Sidecar. So in the Logic app, 
the remote app, there's a lot of differences here because not only do we have a lot of, or almost all the parameters, except for that main window where we have our regions and automation and things, but I can come through here and let's actually, in the mixer here, open up one of our instruments. And I've got all the parameters here. It doesn't look the same as in the actual desktop version, but it has probably an easier time of going through all these different things. You can do a lot of control with your fingers. You can change multiple parameters simultaneously. There's just a lot of power that comes from this interface when working with effects, with our instruments, etc. So we can actually come through here and let's add just a channel EQ. And now I've got that nice interface using my fingers instead of having to use the Apple Pencil. I can still use the Apple Pencil if I want to, but I can use my fingers as well in a multi-touch type environment. So a lot of power with this. So trade-offs with this, we don't have all of our regions. We can still write automation using write modes like touch and write and latch. We just can't draw it in with a pencil. And we don't have any of the editing capabilities. We can't go through copy and paste or loop regions. All of that still has to happen inside Logic. Now we could use both of these together. You'd have to turn one off and one on. That becomes a little bit of a struggle because you have to be at the computer to turn on Sidecar. You could leave them both running, but I found a ton of lag in that situation between them. So you really compromise the performance of both apps at that time. Now, no matter which you use, you have to have the other computer with Logic running on it on the same network or in the same proximity. You can't just take Logic and run it on your iPad without all of the other stuff. It also, the iPad never has sound with it, and so you either have to use wireless headphones or you have to be in a room with speakers that's close enough to, to the computer that they can run it. But you can't just, for instance, walk around your house or walk around the studio or your school or wherever and use the iPad with Logic Pro. You have to have other, some other system for the computer and for the monitoring. 